Having allowed the Imperial Army to invade, the Alliance Army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom Army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. The citizens of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for... Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh, yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. And for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. I wonder if our little ray of hope will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Grandeur, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Claude, reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the Kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here, and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Deirdre and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all of his hopes on us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. We go. Let's move. I hope Claude doesn't try to attack me this time. Right. Start this by looking at the map. Okay, good. Looks like he's not the third army, he's an ally unit this time. Five of them. Thirty two enemy units. I still feel bad about uh, what I did during the freeway battle the second time around. War shield for the taking. Pretty hefty axe. Magic. I guess they're trying to sort of put pressure on the side of us to force us to march forward. Potentially catch us if we're not fast enough. Let's check out our allies. Claude's in his final tier promotion class, looks like. Now this doesn't make much sense to me. His attack has gone down since the last time we fought with him. So he's stronger as an enemy. Then he is as your ally, apparently. <laughs> um, I suppose that's fine. There's probably a hard mode bonus to his stats as an enemy. And of course he can't move around because 
God forbid he use his flying mighty mobility to actually destroy the enemy for me. He's got a healer priest. He's got a sniper. He's got Hilda. As Judith, who is a lord. A lord? What? Hmm. Well, she's got effective weaponry. So she would be able to hold her own, alright. If there were, you know armored enemies or horses coming at her, but it doesn't look like there are. And I guess we can take a look at our enemies after we've taken a look at the allies. We've seen them all. Yep. Concoction. Mortal Savant. I see. Only has magic. Fairly weak magic. Fairly low attack speed as well. Action. I think that's the first time we've seen one of those, isn't it? <laughs> the Fortress Knights just keep getting stronger. The Dark Knight. Lord Arundel. Very heavy, so it's quite slow, but it does have crit and pretty high might. But it's Thoron. And Thoron is 1 to 3 range, so Gonads will be able to outrange him still, but they're about the only thing. And I guess we should check for interesting items. Silver. This one has a silver shield. We could steal that and sell it, or just steal it. This one has a silver shield. What a few silver shields to be stolen. As long as Claude doesn't kill them all. Alright. How the adjutants uh, wind up getting placed in strange places. But if all, I think they just go for the top three units. But we want a adjutant on Gilbert to protect him from follow-ups. And those will be fine there. We also want one on Sylvain. I guess we don't get to bring Bernadetta this time, but we'll have her help Leon. Reformation. We might want to send Gilbert right. And then we want to send Sylvain and Ingrid as the front line. further ado, I guess it's time to hit our Fire Emblem 8 horses against the enemy. The leader of the Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, there's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. 
That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. These heroes are kind of interesting too. I don't think we've seen many of them. But they tend to have high attack and pretty good attack speed and vantage, which makes them troublesome. Oh, cool. Absorption is a self heal. Blaze does. Just burn stuff, does damage. A whole lot of battalions in this map. I don't know if enemies will come from these gates. They may. Otherwise it seems like it's kind of a straight shot to Claude. We have to defeat the commander. Who is rooted. So it seems fairly straightforward. Now since this is a magic bow, we do have to worry about this attacking our resistance. But Gilbert might not be the right choice to have tanked this. I think Ingrid might be. Um, but his attack is quite low. Okay. We'll send Gilbert up and Ingrid right. when you are. Orders. I'd be honored. I'll cut through. Leave it to me. Still got hit points. What's the plan? Doesn't look like there are any horse slayers. Last time that almost caught me out. These silver axe. Huh. Looks like the adjutant guarding doesn't reduce it by 50%, but more like 30. Let's clean up. I guess I should check this one as well. What's my strategy? Will you shimmy instead? So 
not quite enough. She might crit though. That's fine. We have reserves. Forward. At your service. We just charge the bridge with a whole bunch of offensive units. Leave the powerful defensive one in front. Heal the one who's that damn big house. Claude's nuts. Asking me to protect the bridge. That's so much responsibility. The guy's so helpless, I feel sorry for him. So, I'll do what I can to protect him. You're making me work. I think he's doing fine protecting the bridge. Sorry, but it's you or me. They do spawn from the gates. And from the, the cliff side. The of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. I don't want the enemy's numbers to increase anymore. I suppose we can turn around once the enemy catches up to us. It shouldn't take too long for them. I'm only uh, the speed at which I can kill. And I guess the objectives become take the gates in sequence. This one last. If we're going to protect Claude, so to the left, hit the top. Hold or kill the boss. Because I don't think Hilda can hold forever, but she's doing pretty well. If I get Mercedes up far enough, I can heal her if she's still around. Brilliant. 
I guess we'll wield to the left. That way we avoid the mortal savant, although... Let's see. His attack speed is 20. I guess if we bait here... That will pull this armor knight down. It'll probably pull his friend down, too. This guy might come with him. I can snipe him with the horses next turn. Don't want to put Gilbert there. Without first using something on him. We've got Impregnable Wall, and I remember that we have it this time. So we'll use that for Gilbert. Well done. He should draw. You save me. some of the enemies to him. Ryleth also has it. They might be able to use that to bait something else. Blessing. It all comes down to this. Major damage to the people around him. It's no good. We're surrounded. But I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way. That hurt. I should try to keep her alive too if I can. Our chance. They trade on about equal footing. That's enough. Never let your guard down. Guess I have no choice. Oh, fighting wears me out. Uh-oh. Poor green unit. This turn, all we have to do is kill everything in sight. We'll start with the armors. And 
Nobody's fool. I keep advancing. Spyleth is rooted. Uh, I think I'll have to take the only attack I really can here. All my silver shield friends get killed already. Yeah, looks like it. I should bait that Pegasus so I get the Aurora shield. I won't stop here. I just got nasty lances. Alright, so you got heroes. If we can kill everything, then I won't need to heal Judith this turn. In which case, bring Mercedes, use magic on the armor, probably the best way to go. I don't expect forgiveness. Good to fight for our cause. Good. Moral Savant is down. Might be able to take out the hero with Ingrid. Nope. Oh. I suppose if that's the case. Back with someone else. Curve shots again to the hit. Now we should be able to kill the hero with Ingrid. However, he will be able to attack first with Vantage, which is one of the hero tricks, so I'll use the hand axe. That way I don't have to worry about that counter damage. My duty is your death. Nice. Hopefully I'll be more useful now. That should be fine. Our 
rainbow it is then, I suppose. Crit hero, and we've cleared this area. Next turn, I'm gonna have to heal I Judith. Just by. Speed. Well, at least he got speed. I'm glad I can count on you. Thank you. That was a big help. I'll go and cover our leader. I wonder if Sylvain and Felix would be able to take this. Won't be able to double with the hammer. But I'll be able to do more than he gets. And on the counter, he should kill. Looks like I have to use silver. It's rare that an enemy makes Felix use a silver bow to kill them. You fought well. Hilda's doing a great job holding that choke point. Don't bother haunting me. Sylvain cleared the area, just as planned. Supply core. Attacking now would be a fine plan. Not all that. So the enemies with items are the supply core, I guess. They seem to be trying to attack me still, so I wonder if I have to actually chase them. Hilda might have some trouble coming up soon. Alright, looks like she survived that turn. Probably gonna heal herself. And then get healed by the physic. Yep. When you remove their ability to move, green units actually uh, don't do so bad, do they? Well, that's asking for trouble. Although, if I use use a lot, oh, if I could get one more space over, I could hit three of them. Well, is that the same space. Looks like the two of them can close enough to do something there. So what are the hit rates on Fusillade? 30. Okay, that's not good. Gilbert, get the shield. 
You were unprepared. Perfectly acceptable if I don't kill him this turn. You haven't earned my pity. Great, so Felix knocked him down. Opal Felix a little bit further away from the enemy's range. Alright. What, 15 to 16 right now, so uh, the enemy counts are really stabilizing here. This might be a pretty fast chapter. to be able to survive two hits, one of them coming from this 45 attack character, or the other coming from this attack character. So let's call it 46 times 2, she's got 22 defense, that's gonna be 24, 48, she will have 1 HP left, because uh, I rounded up. Now Ash has more hit points, but less defense. You will probably end up getting killed. Can I reach Hilda? Yep. Well, we'll heal her. Anyway. And if we can't send help this turn, Try to send it by next turn. And I'm perfectly fine with baiting one of the snipers off of Hilda. That's probably for the best. We use curb shot to do a little damage from that space. Another victory. It didn't do just a little damage, it did an awful lot. Alright, we probably shouldn't end the chapter until after we have gotten all the items from the enemies. Which one can attack? Silverlane. I could probably send, like, Ingrid. And Leone. I would probably be able to take the supplies in a few turns. up to receive a blessing. Clever. I can't believe they pushed through to here. 
Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the Alliance. Oh. Oh no. Boss starts moving. Will he even be able to kill Claude though? Or is it just like Claude's gonna annihilate him? I'm more worried for Hilda's safety, really. Can't afford to slack off. That hurt, but not as much as this is going to. All is going to plan. It seems that Hilda would have been fine on her own. Judith just stood in Mercedes' spot. That messed up the possibility of casting a blessing. Well, I suppose I could move Ash. Silver. Well, I could do it with a brave bow. She had come for the first shot. It was meant to be. I can always depend on you. I think a net can kill from here. Yes. So that I'll clear out the square. What's next? Don't worry about the boss. Uh, well, not much else, really. I think we'll use Ash. We will use a silver bow to take out the sniper. Reasonable probability of success. In the name of justice! It was the only way. Now we move Mercedes up. We use her blessing gambit. Thanks for that. Thank you. Which makes Judith unkillable for one hit. Which is a little bit funny. I guess we'll go for silver. Going for the kill. Nice crit, it'll help a little bit. Ah! 
I think we can buy that for the kill. We shouldn't do it from there. So we will do it. Here is something to believe in. Another victory. As I expected. Except the card for the supply convoy. For Gerald. There's more work to be done. Speed is good. And can get down here too. The uh, most haven't we moved? I think he has to stay there, or else the door will come back online. It could be wrong. I'm not sure, so I'm going to keep him there because that seems safest. We can stall for maybe two turns using a gambit. Yeah. Oh, Then uh, we'll be able to take the boss out and get the loot that's down here. But if we can't get the loot that's down here, that'll be slightly disappointing. So it looks like it might come to us. Potential kill here. Probably would have been a little wiser to use Leone first. Probably is a little wiser to hear from a little further away. What? So she can back out of attack range. Make a difference. That's only one of them. Get her. Magic bow, I don't think it'll do much if anything to five. Yeah. And that's 43 attack. Do like uh, nine damage. I don't think it can crit, can it? 50 no. chance to hit. We'll use the assault your troop here. Your very presence has foiled our plans yet again. It's time. <laughs> then I can ride away out of his range. This I thought I could. Has he not been rattled by that? It appears not.
What is a plan B? So we could use impenetrable within it. But we have to set it up far enough away that we can be able to shoot behind it and kill her. I could use an incredible blessed wall. Actually, I actually think I will stay right where I am, where I left. Once Freddy's worried about, and it's not gonna double him, and he's blessed, so he'll be fine. I mean, I guess I could end it. There's a magic bow, which... I mean, you know, might be situationally useful. And I'd lose a pretty good axe. But it's not that much better than a silver axe. I don't, like, need it, necessarily, to do something. that crit chance. Although, I do have blessings, so... He's not going down. So we'll just get a little bit of experience. Many people that we have. my duty. I guess we can try to fusillate him. We might as well. It's not like a gambit takes your ability. Nothing bites so hard as a cornered rat, eh? Let's surprise them. Our troops. No, it didn't work. Does the commander ability prevent gambits from working on him? Nullifies status effects. And movement effects. Yeah, okay. Use the fortify. And then blend it. You would raise a weapon against your uncle. You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. 
You are rather calm for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? Perhaps this is no time for words, Uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. On my honor! Nice. Do our hopes end here? Only the strong succeed. HP, strength, speed, defense, and charm. I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. I'm impressed. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting... Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. But it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges for my liking. I know, I know. But that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. The legendary bow fail not. Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Lester Alliance is no more. Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to lead Fodlin, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the Kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do, dreams I need to see to fruition. That's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. You'd better not take on too many responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops, I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have my gratitude, Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, 
We're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. And it has three base range. Which makes it better than most bows. It's basically a longbow with 20 crit, 18 might. That seems really good. I'm sure it is. Well, Dimitri, are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on, I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes, all those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? I don't know. It was just a thought. I am afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to! <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, Your Highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now. But the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her, if I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor, and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family... I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who is successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Arian Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. 
I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on.